And welcome to Bang Goes the Theory. Now, we start off tonight's show with brain training. Chances are you or someone you know has bought a brain training game by now, and they are big business. It's estimated that the U.S. alone spent over $90 million on them last year. But do they work? Well, we thought it would be a good idea to put them to the test. Everyone is doing it, from your grand to your favorite celebrity to your five-year-old niece. And the manufacturers say the games will do everything from giving your brain a simple workout to actually boosting your brain power. But is there any evidence at all to prove that brain training actually makes you brainier? I've invited a couple of guinea pigs to join me at Cambridge University. I'm going to set Jem and Dallas a six-week course of brain training to see if it makes any difference to their brain functions. But first, I need to find out what shape their brains are actually in. So, Jem, I need you to sit over there for a bit, and Dallas, you're coming with me. What, what, what are we doing? I'm about to set Dallas some brain training tasks. Sounds pretty simple. But the catch is he'll be inside a functional MRI scanner while he does them, and he's never been in one before. You're getting uh, your brain scanned. How cool is that? I don't want my brain scanned. This will show me exactly how hard his brain is working, but it turns out Dallas is a little bit claustrophobic. Are you all right? Yeah, no, it's just, I'm... Yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry, it's just freaking me out. <laughs> Despite his apprehension, apart from the noise and being in a small space, Dallas will experience no discomfort whatsoever. Inside the scanner, there's a computer screen and a button box to press for his answers. With the help of neuroscientist Dr. Adrian Owen, I'm going to see Dallas's brain in action. This is his head, and it turns out it's a big one. No surprise there, then. But does a big head or a big brain mean that you're more clever, Adrian? Well, Dallas's head is big, but his brain isn't particularly big, I have to say. All right. Um, and really, there is no evidence that having a big brain doesn't necessarily mean you're any smarter. OK, Dallas, here comes the first brain test. Good luck. The first test is called visual search. Dallas has to decide if two images are the same or different. It should tell us how good he is at doing things like finding keys in a drawer of junk in real life. Look at that. That's, That's amazing. The back of the brain is really starting to activate. What's happening is the parts of the brain that are working hardest are requiring more energy to do that, and they're drawing uh, more oxygen to, to replenish lost mm -hmm. energy. So, Adrian, I'm a little bit confused about these brain training games. I mean, isn't it true that if you repeated one particular game again and again, you would just get better at it based on practice, right? Well, the idea of, of brain training is that it gives your brain a, a full workout. Mm. We don't know that that's the case. We don't know that people, uh, people's brains are actually going to improve in any measurable way. Oh, you just got one wrong. <laughs> It's getting a lot of rights, though. The second test is a reasoning test. This looks at how good you are at logical thinking and problem solving. For example, planning what time you need to leave home to catch a train. And what part of the brain usually fires up most for this kind of activity? Actually, in Dallas's case, we're getting uh, much more frontal lobe activity than, than we've seen previously. I think this is really exercising his problem solving abilities. Okay. And now for my second guinea pig. Jem will be doing exactly the same tests, and we may well see some differences in his visual search and reasoning skills. Are you okay? All right, this is it. Are you nervous? I am a bit now. First up, the test to see how good Jem is at finding objects. Are you ready? Are you concentrating? Yeah. All right, he's off. Back of the brain. Oh, definitely. He's doing all right, isn't he? I think he's getting a bit competitive here. Of course he is. They're two blokes. And finally, the reasoning test to see whether Jem is a logical thinker. Just from knowing them, I would have thought, actually, that Jem would be better at problem solving because that's all he does. He's always building things as an engineer. It'll be very interesting to analyse the, uh, the brain imaging data, but also their performance yes. uh, in order to see whether it really does seem to correlate with what you know about them. So, do their brains work differently given different tasks? And more importantly, could brain training change that over time? Hi. He's still alive. How was it? So relaxing. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna leave you both to recover, okay. and me and Adrian are gonna analyze the data. I'm a bit nervous about these results. Are you? I'm Sounds nervous good. in that they're gonna come out and say, I think you're on borrowed time. The way your brain's <laughs> not functioning right now, you'd be lucky to make it home. 
Do you think our brains are wired differently? Yeah. I think they might be. So do you want to know the results? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe you should put us out of one misery. Don't Come be on. so enthusiastic. Okay, Adrian, take it away. <laughs> okay, on the first test, the visual search task, Dallas, you did better. Ooh. The one that required logical thinking. Jem, mm -hmm. you were way better than Dallas was. That's, like, probably because it's my job. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. So what does that tell us about our two boyos? Well, to be honest, if I had to be good at just one of these tasks, I would choose the reasoning test. Oh. Sorry, Dallas. Oh, no, I'm so upset. Is there any way that I can improve on it? Well, this is great because it gives us something to work with. So we've designed some brain training tests for you. Uh, what I want you to do is to try them at least three times a week for the next six weeks. Okay. And then we'll, we're going to see whether it improves your brain function. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll, I'm game if you are. I, was, I figure we're both mature enough not to turn this into a competition. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, I'm don't be nervous, Dallas. How can I not be nervous? Well, before no, I tell no, you no, the results. Tell us the results. <laughs> no, I want to talk first of all about your training sessions, okay? okay. You were both supposed to do 18 sessions. Mm. Right, Jem, you did about 23, which isn't too oh, shabby. Good. Yeah, not, not too shabby. And, you know, it shows sort of like suitable enthusiasm. Dallas. You did 48 <laughs> sessions. I actually got completely obsessed by it. You I did. became a man possessed. You were totally <laughs> freaked out by the initial results that you, you worked every minute of every second you had free, clearly. That's bordering on cheating. <laughs> I was crushed by his comments. You know I what know. I mean? And I'm also noticed. childly competitive with Jen. There was so. supposed to be no competition, but anyway, there yeah. clearly was. This is your spatial awareness before result. Now, we, we kind of saw that you were quite good at those mm -hmm. to start off with, OK? Now, after 48 sessions of training, Here's your after. <gasps> Absolutely no difference wow. whatsoever. Exactly the same. With all the training you did, no difference. I'm surprised about that because I mean, I worked, that was kind of my favourite one. And I I'd, and I'd sit there for hours. I know. At night, locked up. <laughs> the, thing, <laughs> <laughs> the thing you've got to remember is you were actually very good at it to start with, unlike your verbal reasoning <laughs> test. Do you remember those? Oh, I hate verbal reasoning. The ones reasoning. that haunted you at night. Okay, so remember this was oh, your before. That's embarrassing. Okay, it's not too bad. Are you ready for your result? Okay. This is it after your training. Whoa. Massive improvement! Oh, oh my god, that is a big really improvement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. I mean, that obviously yeah. shows that something's going on in your brain. But we have to remember, obviously, that this is just, it could be just yeah. Yeah. anecdotal because it's just two individuals sure. doing this test. But it's a good, it's a good positive yeah, indication, okay. all right? Mm. Now, Jem, are you ready? Okay, let's start with your <gasps> reasoning. We knew he was a good problem solver. That's what he does for a job, that's even, okay? That's more than how, where I ended up. But yeah. it's, it's very close. Yeah. Anyway, now after your 23 sessions of practice, <gasps> wow. a little improvement. Yeah. But, you know, you're, you're up there anyway, so that's enough. pretty good. All right, now, for your spatial awareness Ooh. test, which you weren't quite as good at, all no. right? But after training, so again... Little bit of an improvement, not bad and going at all. does that help table tennis in any way? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah, at least you know where the ball's supposed to go. Good, good. But no, well done to, to the two of you. That, was, you. that was really good. The Cheers, important this. thing to note here is that this cannot be as a result of just practicing the same test because your before <coughs> test and your after test were completely different to the test you used to train. Okay, yeah. so this is a good indication that, you know, the brain training may be helping, but obviously it needs to be more conclusive. In other words, we need more people, we need a bigger sample size so it can be statistically significant. And this is where we need your help, because we're about to launch the biggest and boldest brain training experiment ever to find out whether brain training actually does improve your overall brain power. So if you're over 18, we want you to go to Slash Bang and register to be in Brain Test Britain, not only will you be taking part in a groundbreaking experiment, but you might just improve your brain power too. Yes, indeed. Yeah, just go to slash bang and you can start the experiment straight away.